What is up, beautiful people of the internet? I go by the name of Wesley, and today, guys, I am so immensely pumped right now. We're getting an Odd Ones Out video. These don't get released that often, and we're reacting to my thoughts on shifting reality. I am so freaking stoked. He's one of my favorite creators on the whole platform, and this is a treat. Because it takes so much damn work to animate videos like this. He doesn't get to release that often. But today, he did. I'm stoked. That being said, guys, make sure you subscribe down below for more reactions. And please comment. Let me know what other videos you want to see me do reactions to. Whether they are from Odd Ones Out specifically, other animators on YouTube. Or just any video anywhere on the internet. Except for Pornhub or Live Leak. I cannot do reactions to those. That being said, let's just jump into it. I understand that there are things that I don't understand. For example, theoretical physics, or how to yeah. make friends. But oh. I do know that the world is not flat, that vaccines work, and listening to people tell me otherwise is admittedly a guilty pleasure of mine. <laughs> I don't know, I'm sorry, I don't know why I paused just to go and make that weird huffing laugh at you guys. Odd Ones Out sense of humor just gets me. Whether it's conspiracy theories or horoscopes, I love watching people pour their heart into something they genuinely believe in, only for me to go, I disagree. But please, continue. There are some beliefs that I don't agree with, but are absolutely fine to believe in. Like thinking bucket hats look good on someone. But I think we can all agree that some beliefs can be incredibly damaging to a person, or even- My religion is against dogs, so we hate dogs, thus dogs shouldn't exist. Honestly, that's a pretty hard line. I feel like that would be par probably the most controversial stance you could take. And that's saying something, but I really think it is. Oh, humanity like, as a whole. I've never like seen someone look it in a bucket hat. Or racists. Whoa. So I discovered a new trend, and I'm not sure if it's just kids being kids or a mentally damaging belief system, but I'm still going to talk about it and explain to my audience the importance of critical thinking and to notice the red flags and dangerous beliefs. So what am I talking about? I unfortunately- Also, for the record, guys, that you can't magic away your feces thing, J.K. Rowling did come out and say that- before interior, indoor plumbing was invented, wizards would just stop and poop in the hallways of Hogwarts and then magic it away. So that was weird and, and a very strange way to treat one of the most loved and cherished children's you know, series ever in existence. We fell down a rabbit hole and discovered a community of mostly kids on a phone application called TikTok doing something called reality shifting. What? Now this, by the way, is not a small community of like 20 people. There are amino groups with thousands of members, videos with hundreds of thousands of views, and they have their own acronyms. O M. G. Reality shifting stems from the belief in parallel universes, which I gotta be honest, I'm not completely sold on that idea to begin with. You say that Schrodinger's cat is both alive and dead, but cats have nine lives, so are 4.5 cats dead? How is a cat half dead? Either way, someone supposedly cat. very smart has said that every decision you've ever made has caused the universe to copy itself and create a new reality where you made the different decision. I had cereal for breakfast this morning, but somewhere there's a reality where I ate my hamster for breakfast. Does that mean I create a new universe every time I scratch? Looking kind of thick though, can we- Odd Ones Out has clearly been hitting the squat rack because the booty gains are immense. My butt? And somewhere there's a James with better manners. So <laughs> times that by 8 billion people making decisions every day, plus the decisions made by like dogs and jellyfish, right? Those count, I think. And we get roughly infinity total realities. If you've seen Endgame, you know what I'm talking about. The reality shifting community says that since there are infinite realities, then there's a reality where GameStop stock is incredibly low, or that COVID didn't happen. Or perhaps <laughs> there's even a reality out there where Hogwarts is real and a messenger owl just dropped off your acceptance letter and through the right way more depressingly there's a re there's if Hogwarts is real and there's a reality where you get a letter there's probably more realities where Hogwarts is real and you never get accepted you freaking muggle meditation you can transfer your consciousness from your current reality your CR for short to your Hogwarts desired reality your DR and for some gosh darn reason Hogwarts is the number one shiftable destination location but obviously what? it's not just Hogwarts any fictional universe is fair game see this is one of those things too though because I'm like okay so everyone wants to go to Hogwarts because they think they're the main character 
Guess what, sweetheart? You're not the main... Chances are, statistically, three kids out of the whole school were the main characters. Those are not odds that are in your favor. Like, and it was not a good life for most of the kids at Hogwarts. There were a lot of deaths, a lot of maimings, some curses thrown hither and thither. I don't think I would want to go to Hogwarts without some, like, designated plot armor to protect me. Like, high school sucked, but imagine going through high school where you're also getting cursed. There's, like, an undead snake dude with no nose who's coming for your, your whole ass and... Like, it would be bad, bad. You could go like, to the Hunger Games or Lord of the Rings. I'm not sure why, though. A lot of bad things happen. Yeah! And since all Jeez. logic is thrown out the window, cartoon and anime realities are shiftable destinations. Because if Schrodinger's cat taught us anything, it's that there are some universes that are just 24 drawings a second. So because there are allegedly <laughs> infinite realities, people will write down what they want their desired reality to be, and this is called a script. It's funny, you know, normally scripts are made to tell fictional stories, but these people think that what they write down will be 100% real. And you can make a script of whatever you want. So this is like goal setting or the secret manifestation on crack, probably literally. Because, like, writing down your goals every day does make it more likely for your goals to occur because you're focusing on your goals. You can say, I want to shift to Hogwarts and be in a relationship with Draco Malfoy. Whoa uh, there. I mean, not, not me. This is just yeah, the yeah, Draco's <laughs> handsome. Now, listen. You're a smart kid, okay? Hopefully, I don't have to explain to you that that's not how life works. If you believe you can hop into different realities, then that's great, and I see no problem with it is what I would say in a different reality, but in this reality, I have a lot of questions. If you can shift your consciousness into a different version of you, what happens to the alternate reality you's consciousness? Oh, that's You're horrifying. You're just taking over someone else's body. This other you had a life and a family, unless you're going to a YA fantasy novel, and you just took over their whole body. What if there's a you in an alternate reality that's like, I want to live in a reality where there's a pandemic and I'm sadder, and then they shifted here. What happens to your consciousness? You don't trade. The reality shifting community says that when you shift, you leave behind a clone of yourself. Obviously. So when you shift, there's someone's consciousness unaccounted for. What about the realities where Can we- one that, that's, that's horrifying. <gasps> what if that's what ghosts are? No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. But regardless, that that's legitimately horrifying. You're just dooming. What happens to that consciousness? One of you had waffles for breakfast, and the other had pancakes. Both of these yous are pretty much the exact same. So then both of you will want to reality shift to the exact same Harry Potter oh, reality. No. Do you have to share a body <laughs> with the other yous that have shifted to the same reality? Are you telling me that Voldemort and any fictional villain is real? How come half of us didn't get turned to dust when Thanos snapped? If anyone can reality shift, are you telling me there's a chance that Voldemort could download TikTok and reality shift here? If you go to Hogwarts, you're leading Voldemort right to us. How can there be a reality where magic is real? Sure, I don't know how parallel universes work, but they're parallel. So the laws of physics should still be the same, right? But James, I know that reality shifting makes no sense and is impossible. But then why do so many people claim to have shifted? Because they're dreaming. Whoa! Shifting happens when you fall asleep. And if you fill your subconscious with things from your desired reality, would you be surprised that you had a dream about Hogwarts? Something about this trend doesn't... S That's... Wait, so the people who are saying that they shifted say that they went to Hogwarts and went to all this trouble and effort to manifest it or whatever, to shift... To this reality and then they're saying that they came back why the hell would they come back if they wanted to go to hogwarts are they coming back and be like yo guys actually actually having like adolescent hormones raging through people's bodies and also essentially handing them what would amount to an ak-47 in the form of a wand that they can just add a cadabra everybody's asses in the hallways if you know i don't know they're just pissed off isn't that fun turns out puberty is way harder when people can also like i don't know turn you into a frog if, if they're jealous of you 
And so he came back. No, I'm sure they're not saying Stay that. Right with me. A lot of the reality shifting TikToks were Pause. done by kids. And kids, as you know, can get really obsessed in the fandom and do some cringy stuff. If these kids were making fan fiction and writing themselves on a date with Bakugo, that would be totally fine. Healthy even. Heck, even if these kids flat out said, I love Harry Potter. Bro, I've seen some fan fiction and I, uh, <laughs> some of the fan fiction they're writing is not healthy. That's for so sure. So much that I want to manipulate my dreams to be about him. That would be fine too. But something about actually believing that you're astral projecting into a fictional universe. I don't know. That level of obsession just feels unhealthy. Yeah. My guy. And also, back off Bakugo, he's mine. The problem with reality shifting and actually conspiracy theories as a whole is that they pretend to be based on factual evidence when they're entirely a pseudoscience. You start off with a scientific idea, multiple realities, and then you make up whatever you want and use what the scientists have said about multiple realities as proof. I, I think it's interesting too because it's so, it's multifaceted because there's a number of different things that are true that they're taking and pushing to an extreme, extreme conclusion. Like writing your goals, cause because a lot of the manifestation stuff, and this is like a further pushing of the manifestation idea coupled with the multiverse theory. And a lot of the manifestation stuff is like, oh, if you write down your goals and you focus intensely on a given outcome that you want, you can manifest it. That's all based on research that was done on goal setting and whatnot that if you did sit down every day once or twice a day and wrote down goals you wanted to accomplish you were you were super 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 more likely to actually successfully accomplish those goals because then you're focused on the goals and you're going throughout your day with those goals in mind and goals that you're actually actively working towards are way more likely to happen when they're clearly defined than when they're just spurious not clearly defined and you're not actively concentrating on getting to a destination you want to go to but that's way different than you write thing on paper magic happen you know what i mean so it's just Even i don't know no science is frizzle anything about being able to move your consciousness outside yeah. of your body or that you leave a clone of yourself behind when you reality shift or that cartoon universes exist i've seen people in videos say that they've done research on reality shifting but I feel confident in saying you didn't get a degree in quantum physics. <laughs> I want you to cite your sources and show me the studies because research isn't just believing what other people said on TikTok. These TikToks get impressionable kids to believe in reality shifting in pretty manipulative ways, saying that if you didn't shift, it's because you didn't believe hard enough. When you get these doubts and say, oh, I can't shift, I don't even know if it's real anymore at this point, try and ask yourself after, but what if it's real? What if I can shift? It's so creepy. You want to find out, do you? It's so creepy. I get it. Harry Potter is a cool world. That's why they made a whole theme park about it. Who wouldn't want to drop out of a muggle public school and live in a castle with a bunch of soft British boys? <laughs> and also magic or whatever. But you need to be mindful about where you're getting your information. I've watched hours of flat earthers and anti-vaxxers talk about their beliefs, and these people get their information from non-credible sources, and they end up pushing more fake information online, and it creates this echo chamber that warps their worldview. I don't want kids watching these TikToks or going on Amino and essentially get lost. That one's real too. Honestly, I, I, it's kind of embarrassing. Sometimes I will for half a second fall for memes like this like oh you have this problem put it in the microwave and i'm like oh that makes no sense you idiot I too, but for a second i believe this is it how the world works i'm hoping that all of these people will look back at themselves in 10 years and go yeesh i can't believe i was so obsessed about a thing i literally tried to astral project myself across <laughs> the multiverse Right, Bakugo? <laughs> I know that this reality can suck sometimes, and right now it's looking pretty bad. But like it or not, this is the one reality we get. A lot of things may be out of your control, but according to theoretical physics, we make a lot of choices. And all our choices lead us down different paths. So what you need to do is not give up on this reality for a literal fictitious one, but instead to make choices that will make this current reality your desired reality. That's too bad too because it's a type of escapism to want to get out of this current reality. So the kids that are most susceptible to this are kids who are dissatisfied with their current reality prob and potentially for really valid reasons like abuse or who knows what other terrible things that could be going on. So it's just too bad because it, it, it doesn't help. 
like trying to run from it in your head doesn't help you actually get anywhere. And I guess sometimes that you could argue like maybe it's a coping survival mechanism. If they are truly a 10 year old, like what's a 10 year old going to do? They can't really do much to get out of a situation if it's their parent or somebody who's creating the situation. I don't know. It, Thank don't you all know. for coming to my TED talk. Thank you, Odd Ones Out. I loved your TED talk. As always, you're amazing. Who wouldn't want to drop out of a... Who wouldn't want to drop out of a muggle public school? Who wouldn't want to drop out of... Man, I didn't realize he was such a big team. Who wouldn't want to drop out of a muggle public school and live in a castle with a bunch of soft British boys? Also magic or whatever. Who wouldn't want to drop out... <laughs> that being said, guys, thank you so much for watching. Odd Ones Out, as always brought it super super interesting super fascinating i love hearing about these weird niche groups that exist in random platforms but especially tiktok for some reason it's like tiktok and facebook have all the weirdest groups for some reason i don't know why that being said y'all let me know what you think in the comments down below you are amazing and one constructive thing you can take from the video is if you do like take the time to meaningfully write out goals that you actually care about set those goals and then write them every day, you are more likely to achieve your goals. So that's something cool you can take out of this. And uh, y'all are amazing. Take care of yourself. I hope you guys have an absolutely beautiful day. Subscribe down below for more reactions and please comment. Let me know what other videos you want to see reactions to. That being said, I'm Wesley. Take care of yourself. I'm